Uh, good afternoon. My name is Chuck Whitmer. I am an associate veterinarian here at Montana Equine, based out of Helena primarily. Uh, today, I just wanted to discuss some ideas you could have to help yourself out in there. Uh, in Montana, we're all out and about. We like to go out in the backcountry, gorgeous state. So hopefully these little tidbits will help you down the road. First thing I want to discuss is what constitute an emergency. Um, anything dealing with the eye is definitely an emergency. Acute lamenesses are very important to get looked at quick. Obviously lacerations, your colics are important. But sometimes a little more subtlety would be if your horse is running a fever. That's something that we may need to investigate as well. Um, the other thing I like to discuss today would be if you're out in the backcountry, you know, you're in the Bob Marshall, what are a couple of quick things that you might be able to carry with you to kind of save your bacon if needed? Um, one of the biggest things that you may need, especially in the backcountry, if your horse or mule takes a fall, is some way to support a leg to get out of there, get in the trailer and come see us or see any veterinarian for that matter. Um, and right now what I have in my hands is just a section of PVC pipe that we cut um, in half and very lightweight. You can actually put it in a pannier, uh, strap it to your horse's back if you needed to. Or the other option you can is a couple pieces of two by four would work really nice as well. Um, the other thing that I think everybody should carry is just some standard syringes. You know, I have two different sizes here. This is a 20 mil syringe, this is a 35. But the reason I want you to carry these is if you're to actually open this up, you can cut this tip off and shove it up a horse's nose in case they get bit by a rattlesnake. And honestly, with that kind of situation, the minutes matter. So getting them to where they can still breathe. Um, our horse patients are obligate nasal breathers. So meaning they have to breathe through their nose or they can't breathe. They're not like us. If you have a stuffy nose, you can breathe through your mouth. So carrying something like that or even a six to eight inch piece of garden hose could save your horse's life get them out of the back country, get them to us, and we can help them out from there. You know, the other thing, just general kind of knowledge I like to pass along is, I think every owner out there should have a stethoscope in their trailer, as well as a thermometer. And what these will do for you is, even if you're not super experienced getting the information from these items, um, you can always give us a call, and you may be 40 miles out of the mountain range, uh, but we can help you maybe decide if you need to get out of there soon, or if you have a little time to see if it you know resolves. So um, those are some quick tips for the back country. Hopefully you learned something. If you have any questions, give us a call here at Montana Equine. Any of our locations uh, will be able to help you out facilitating questions. So thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.